What's going on guys? Just got a new gun in. Um, as I promised, I would have an unboxing video of this gun. Um, I got the Daniel Defense DD M4 V7. Um, been waiting on this gun for quite a while. They're actually really hard to find here. Um, so let's see, I got the uh, chamber flag in there. Oh, it comes with it in there. It's got the little damn fence logo in there. Um, the bolt has got their Daniel Defense logo in there. Um, DD M4V7 on the side there. 556. Um, got their Daniel Defense charging handle. It's a uh, ambidextrous, by the way. Um, same thing as the. Uh, Fire selector, ambidextrous here. Um, does not have an ambidextrous magazine release. Um, I mean, I guess that's good and bad um, for the left-handers out there. Um, this is their new glass-infused uh, dust cover. Has their logo on it there. Um, it also has the QD points on there up there and on the other side it has their dd four grip here same thing as the pistol grip dd on the bottom um the grip or their uh uh classical stock here is their own they make it in-house on the end down the fence um there's not any wobble hardly at, on this uh, stock. Most like Magpul stocks have a wobble. Um, and the upper and lower receivers, I don't know if y'all can see or not, there's no wobble at all. Um, the trigger, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just mil spec, mil spec trigger. Um, you can take this trigger off or the trigger guard off. Um, I'll go ahead and show y'all the trigger pull here. No creep at all. There's the shot. I'll show you all the reset here. Reset, shot. Um, it's not light trigger pull, but it's definitely a whole lot crispier than some of the other ones that I felt out of like a, uh, like my Diamondback AR. Um, my Diamondback's more of a uh, budget friendly. I think it's it was right at $960. Um, this one, comes in quite above that, about $1,000 more than that. So um, you also got the QD points on the back here. You can do it from both sides. <clears throat> um, this is the 16 inch barrel here, 15 inch upper hand guard there. Um, has it on the front there, 15 inch right there. Um, let's see what else we got in the box here. So there's the gun. This is what comes on the trigger guard. Um, tells you who it's inspected by, built by, packaged, the date it was packaged. Um, down the fence, satisfactory, guaranteed. Uh, tells you a little bit about what the gun's made out of, um, what kind of barrel, coating, stuff like that on there. Um, in the box, you also get this bag of goodies here. Um, I, I believe they could do this a better way. I've seen this in a bunch of other videos where the box here is kind of crumbled up. Um, I, I think they could do that a different way. Maybe look, make it look a little bit better than that. Um, this is their magazine here. Um, got a, a really textured feel here. Um, comes with this base plate on it here. I guess shock resorbent. Also has 5.56 five, on the bottom, just in case you have a uh, a 2.23 gun or a uh, maybe 300 blackout, um, maybe 308 if you can get that confused. 5.56 five, on the follower, yellow follower, has DD on it. Um, really nice magazine. It also is a 32 rounder, unlike most guns come with a 30 round magazine, like the Mag ones. Um, I, I think most guns now come with the Mag ones. Um, 
You get a Daniel Fence sticker. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, you get your manual also bent up. Um, that might be shipping maybe. I don't really know. Um, maintenance, instructions, safety. Tells you the grip and rip, uh, charging handle. Um, has a parts breakdown in here. Um, I guess you could put, I think it's got maintenance stuff, yeah, maintenance stuff in here. Um, it's got nodes, you can put nodes, I guess you can put whenever you, uh, cleaned it, something like that. Um, something about winning $400, I guess, to get some money back. Um, I don't know if y'all seen it whenever I showed you, but the actual butt plate here, you can take off with those two screws right there and put a thicker one on there. So it would stick out like that for more padding if you're more sensitive to recoil. Um, what I've heard, I have not shot it yet. What I've heard though is that they have a heavy buffer spring in here which takes up a bunch of the recoil. Um, my Diamondback, um, you can feel the recoil quite a bit, especially for a 5.56. Five, five, <clears throat> um, again, it's a, it's a cheaper gun. Um, their tolerances and stuff are not as good. Um, but other than that, you also get the uh, DD hard case. Um, I'll show you, show you that real quick here. Um, comes with a really nice case. I wish a lot of other brands would do that too. Does the animal fence on it. Um, it's got the pad on the inside here. The like egg crate, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's on the inside there clamp shut um another thing i like is they put holes right here so you can put a lock on it so if you want to take it through like tsa or something so you're going on an airplane to go hunt somewhere or something um you you can do that with the daniel fence case that comes in um other than that that's about it because i have not really shot it so i can't really vouch for the recoil or anything like that um you can see where they Oily a lot, how oily the back of the gun is around here. Um, other than that, I will show y'all a unbox or a shooting video, and I'll show you my setup once I get it all done. Um, other than that, hope you'll have a good day. See, y'all, catch y'all in the next one.